Hey everybody, I am the Rose, and today I'm going to do a unboxing video for the Nintendo 3DS. I just got it yesterday, and uh, I know the 3DS is a little old, so yeah. I hope this air conditioner uh, over here isn't too loud. You can hear me. So uh, yeah, I know this is old. But I'm just kind of doing something for my channel because I, you know, I really don't have any uh, new material coming up until maybe this week sometime. So until then, enjoy. So here we go. This box is pretty heavy for a, you know, just having a DS and stuff in it. So how nice tape. I don't like tape. Those things. Give me a minute when I pull this tape off, please. This will come up a little bit easier, but I doubt it. I've never played a 3DS before. I've never owned one before now, so this whole 3DS thing is new to me. And now I can get the box open. So let's, let's see what's in here. Hopefully this video quality isn't too poor. I'm using my PlayStation Vita actually as a recording camera. And it uh appears we got some stuff in here. Uh, it looks like we got we got some AR cards. That's interesting. I've heard about these. But I don't exactly know what they're for. Yeah, there appears to be a couple of them in here. Let's try to open this up. No idea. Again, I have no idea what these are for. I've never used these before. There are a bunch of them. Uh -huh. We got a block. We got Legend of Zelda. Link. We got. I want to say, I don't know what this is, I want to say it's Pikmin, but I'm probably wrong. I've never played Pikmin, so I wouldn't know. A couple more. This one's Metroid. And the final one is Kirby. Again, I don't know what these AR cards are for. Uh, I'm surprised, I guess the, the block is supposed to be Mario. I'm surprised they actually didn't put Mario on the card instead of just a block. And that's what they did. So that's the AR cards. And uh, here we have this Nintendo Club. I have a code for uh, the Nintendo Club. I can join it, apparently. So uh, I think I'll be doing that. Got to sit down so no one can steal my code. Not like they would anyways. Uh, this appears to be an instruction manual. Quick start guide. Something I'm probably not going to use. And wow, there's a lot of a couple more stuff here. Uh huh. Guide the yeah, that's I think Spanish. I have this apparently in multiple languages. Yeah, that one is something else. This one is definitely Spanish. So I got that three times, and this is the very thick 3S manual. Boy, is it thick. This is probably why the box is so damn heavy. Oh, guys, look at this. How thick this book is. That's probably right, right there why it's so freaking heavy. Uh, I was expecting to get something really good. Instead, I get just a box with a DS. And this is the charger. 
imagine so. Yes, sir. This is the charger. Definitely more beefy than the uh, regular DS one. I did own a regular DS. I hate this. See what I mean? This here. I'll open this up. Yeah, plastic doesn't taste very good, folks. So this I don't. I don't like this. This right here. Though. You got to flip this out to plug it in. And what's nice is you can flip it back to put it away. You know, plugs don't get bent. When you're trying to plug it in the wall. Sometimes it'll move and it'll close. It'll kind of close on you like that. Kind of sucks. And, uh, but it's beneficial in a way. At the same time, it sucks. And the 3S itself is put in this uh, foam casing. Uh, this is actually pretty heavy compared to the original DS. <sighs> so this is my 3DS. This is the XL version. And uh, oh, okay, so that's nice. You could actually like set it down on a table and kind of use it like a laptop, or if you have it as a handheld. So that's that's awesome. And the screens, oh, wow, the screens are definitely bigger. It's um supposed to be supposed to be um, 95 percent bigger than uh, the regular 3ds this is my stylus pen uh, it's black kind of hoping for a blue one well can't have everything but uh, this is where a DS game would go in and this is the charger piece I imagine or something there now the charger goes there that. I think these are supposed to have built-in microphones. These are some really small shoulder buttons. Um, yeah, I've never played this before. You see, uh, we have some stuff down here. We have select, we have start, and we have home. So that's cool. And uh, power's on there, I suppose. Oh, yep, wait. Now it's powered on. Probably doesn't have that much battery life, because they usually don't when they first come out. But, uh, wow, this screen's really, like, vibrant. And this looks awesome stuff. And, uh, as you can see, that's what it looks like when it's on. For those of you who have never had one, like myself, this is rather interesting. There's a button here. I don't know what it does, though. I'm going to figure that out later. But, uh, Come on, go off. Go off. Maybe this is turned it off? Yep, okay, so apparently that's the power button. So what is this one? Uh, there's a slider here. It's most likely the volume slider. But anyways, this was the Nintendo 3DS uh, unboxing. This is the blue one. This is not the this isn't the one I wanted by the way this is uh, this 3ds I wanted the regular size 3ds in a different color blue but uh, you know what now that I see it out of the package I kind of like this one you know just as much as that one so that kind of doesn't bother me uh, I'm gonna figure out what those are as well uh, this is the Nintendo 3ds I am the Rose saying see ya until next time so long everybody.